Yes, you do. You lie. You killed Scotty McKee, and you're going to give me a written confession, or... Why should I confess to a murder I didn't commit? I'm going to give you one more chance. You better start saying your prayers, because your time is short. Sorry, Silent. But we've got to keep this fellow living for a while yet. Drop the gun, head hit! Now closer to your friend. Very neatly done, Joe. Now we'll teach these two a lesson. Don't touch the gun, Breen. This is my party. Now I collect two rewards. Five thousand dollars for Mr. Silent Slave, wanted for murder. Two thousand dollars for the redhead, because he's a nuisance to our Mr. Breen. And I'll offer five thousand dollars for Jim Breen. On hoof. F.O.B. Montana. Well, what do you mean? Who are you? You'll find out soon enough. Keep quiet. I make the talk. Have you got the $7,000 for me, Mr. Breen? Oh, well, not in cash, I... But you could get it, couldn't you? Maybe Mr. Psalms leave you a little money before he go away so sudden. Make up your mind quick, Breen. I give you one minute to think it over. You win, Portis. I'll get the money. Steady. That is very good advice. Hey, wake up! The Maxwell gang is here. Don't move. Don't move, any of you. Help or anything, did you? But we got a bamboo. There's more of them in the barn. Watch the silk. The Maxwell torches. Get your hardware and make it snappy. Here come reinforcements. Out to the town. Come on. This is the way out, fellas. Come on. Sacre Diablo. What's the mix up? I catch the redhead. He's waving. Well, where? Where are they? Did you get them? Get who? What? We didn't see anyone. We just rode in. No one come out. Me and Al, we stand the guard. The tunnels, you blundering idiots! Uh, fine mess you made of things. So you wanted two rewards, huh? Why, you double-crossing hound! Maybe I'll get three rewards, Breen. Maybe I know now why the redhead wants you in Montana. Why? No sign of anyone. They went through the tunnel and made a clean getaway. Oh, forget what I said, Joe. We've got to stick together. I want you to have one of your men guard the Maxwell Ranch, but not one of those blundering cousins of yours. I want to know where Slade hides out, and I'll pay. Sure you're going to pay, Jim Breen. I'm going to see to that. It's going to be the best rodeo the Sycamore I ever had. I'd like to know if we can get 20 of your bulldog and steer. All right, I'll send them over to you. But as for myself, I'm sorry, boys, but I, I don't feel like attending the rodeo these days. Wait a minute, there's some strangers here. It's going to be a good show. Here comes Red. Oh, Silent, I was so afraid. Wait a minute, Joan. Who are those fellows over there? Friends of Father's from the Bar X outfit. They're trying to persuade Father to attend the rodeo at Sycamore tomorrow. Oh. You better take the horses to the barn. I'll go with you. But, Mr. Maxwell, for 40 years, the Maxwell Ranch has been represented. And that old Spanish coach of yours, the show just wouldn't be complete without it. Here comes Red. Maybe I can persuade him to ride a bronc for the honor of Rancho Del Rosa. Red! Yes, sir. Red? 
Shake hands with Jimmy Green, foreman Glad of our X. Glad to know you, indeed. And this is Mr. Wilson. Glad, Glad to know you. Dylan, you must keep out of sight. Sure. I'm supposed to hide. Well, a man that really killed your father's riding in the range just as free as air. I'll have the Spanish coach made ready, and Marie will ride in it and represent for Rancho Del Rosa. <laughs> and we'll pick out a bucking horse for a red. It'll throw him so high the birds will build a nest in his hat before he hits the ground. Oh, yeah? All I request is my own saddle. Then you can trot out your old bucking horse. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. We'll look over the stairs. Well, I, I hope that the bronco they pick won't be too wild. I'll get a confession out of him. Please or... don't. If anything should happen to you, I'll... Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'll do just as you say. I'm dead sure that Breen killed Scotty McKee, and he knows who Slade is. He's got a pretty good idea who I am. Oh, Red, I'm afraid. If he knows why you're here, he, he may kill you or have you killed. That's just what I'm waiting for. For him to do something to put his neck in a noose. Oh, Marie, sweet Marie, you're the girl I adore. Promise me you'll be careful. One look in your eyes drives me through. When you're near, I feel glad when you're far away. Johnny's pretty persistent, isn't he? Yes. He always finishes anything he starts. Oh, Marie, sweet Marie. <laughs> I guess it's my red hair. <laughs> One look in your eyes drives me cuckoo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome into this arena those hard-riding cowboys from the Rancho Del Rosa, led by Red Davidson, mounted on his wonder horse, Silver. Ah, those are no loads of boys is all here. Let's go to the canteen and tell Joe. Maybe get some tequila, huh? No, Hugo. That redhead drink he's next. I want to see him. You betcha. I don't. Hey, gentlemen, I'm the donkey is a hair tonic salesman and not the line-faced boy. That bashful little colt Fred Davidson has over there is Silver Junior. Step up and kiss your papa, you know account little rascal. I have my men watching Maxwell's place all night, but they don't find Slade. Just the same, he's hiding there. Right out there myself. And get yourself shot? Go ahead. Well? I bring news. The De La Rosa boys is all there at the Rodeo. All of them? All but old Maxwell. That's settled. Joe, you have them watched. I'm picking up my men at the border and going after Slade. And now I'll get these ready. Go back and watch. The first event of the day is the boys' calf riding contest. And here they come, fire wide and handsome. Jimmy, keep your seats, boys. We're going to serve ice cream. That a boy, Jimmy. Stay with him. Jimmy Martin is the winner. Number two, Charlie Jones on the steer. Pick up your hat. Watch your hurry, Charlie. Auto shoot number one, Ted time. Hang on, Ted, we're going around a turn. And there goes Andy Yanks, headed for the box seat. Whoa, come back here. Buck Apples on the white steer. Going, going, down. Hola, hola, looks like a bull fight. Bussy, bussy. Event. Bulldogging with Jeff Woodkind coming up fast. He's got him. 
Jamaica. What kind of side you got? Yeah? Well, listen to me. The kids used to ride to school on worse broncs than I've seen around here. <laughs> Nobody can ride that gray ghost. Oh, that old son of a gun couldn't even throw a wet saddle blanket if he held his feet. There we go. Joe say we must watch him. Did he hurt? No, not him, but he plumb ruined your saddle horn. Come on. Not hurt, Red. No, but look at that saddle. He sure put a crimp in it. And look at that saddle horn. Looks like a pretzel. Wait a minute. Why? What does it mean? I don't know yet. Oh, let me see them. Wait a minute. The diamonds that were smuggled across the border then lost. The missing diamonds. You better get these to your father's safe right away. And found in the saddle with the red hat weaving from Joe. I'll take them and I'll start right off in the carriage. I go tell Joe quick, you watch. I see them. I'll be following as soon as I'm through this next event. They're going to have me dressed up like a Spanish bullfighter. All right, I'll see you later. Take care of that. The redhead's horse fall down and he bust the saddle horn. And inside, what do you think we find? What? The missing diamond. Santa Maria. In Harper's saddle. Oh, Del It was you. Shut up. Bring John. We go to the ranch. The girl, she has the bag. We go. Imagine riding in the hills for months with a fortune and diamonds. I took a good look at that saddle. It used to belong to Del Harper. Del Harper, the man who was killed. Look, young. Joe Porter's in here. Lay on the leather, Jose. He'll stop him. Go! 
someone. Why you treat me? <laughs> <laughs>